My co-founder and I uh, started Innovision about four and a half years back. Um, the main uh, aim of the company was to build uh, innovative, affordable uh, products for persons with disabilities. So assistive technology solutions that would help improve their quality of life and um, empower a greater degree of independence and uh, daily um, ICT-based interactions for them. So that was the basic idea. Uh, most of the existing products in the market before us were very, very highly priced. They'd been developed in the Western world where price was not so much of a factor of consideration. But given that almost 90% of people with disability were living in low-income settings in developing countries like India, there was a huge gap between what existed in the market versus who actually needed them and what they could afford. So um, that is the sort of uh, gap as well as opportunity that we had identified and that InnoVision was founded uh, to help bridge. And uh, our first product uh, was catered towards the visually impaired. So we were working towards digital accessibility uh, for blind people and do that in their own script across different languages. And uh, currently we are working uh, for the hearing impaired. So we are looking at uh, making smart hearing aids and sort of uh, improving the whole end-to-end -end process uh, for the uh, end consumer. Hearing aids, unfortunately, have not seen a lot of innovation happen um, over the last couple of decades. It's still that same model, whereas today most of our devices are connected. Um, so something uh, as simple as being able to make a call while using your hearing aid and then having to put it on top of your uh, piece. So there are lots of gaps that we've been able to identify in terms of our interactions with uh, people who have hearing aid as well as audiologists.